Welcome back to Let's Play The Room. I'm here with Michael Fox, as always. Hey, what's going on, people? And on the last part, we just had Johnny's <laughs> ultimate rage, you're tearing me apart, Lisa, moment. Oh, Johnny. that butt. That badonkadonk. <laughs> he does. It looks like, <laughs> looks like a sack with two oranges in it. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard. <laughs> So as yeah. usual, we'll go see if we recorded everything, but I'm pretty sure today that we don't get any new kind of story, but at least this will serve to refresh people's memory uh, that Mark and Lisa are are philanderous and betraying Johnny every step of the way. She is madly in love with him, too. She is. She is way more into it than Mark is. He's yeah. just not that into you. Oh my god. You know, I'm surprised that these early videos haven't been taken off of YouTube for the pixelated tits that we're seeing. And don't forget his uh, pointy pecker. Yeah, that's true. Although, you <laughs> could just... I could just uh, appeal that to YouTube and say it's an elephant trunk. <laughs> that's true. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, elephanty. Yeah, it's uh, very prehensile. Anyway... Mark's, Mark's place. It's nice, eh? I love it. It looks like a sports bar on the outside. It's got all these schedules. Monday and Friday, ladies night. Football toss. <laughs> Today is Saturday, so it's best friend night. Oh, that's, that's excellent. That's oh, awesome. here we go. A little more diary reading, maybe? Yeah, a little bit more insight into Denny's mental illness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. He got the billionth cheesecake. Oh, yes. The sweeping victory. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to exit here. We don't... Uh, we'll check out the roof, see what's going on up there. I'm kind of at a loss right now what to do because usually you just wake up and then go to work. But today's Saturday, so I can't go to my job and ask my boss why I haven't been promoted yet. So instead, we're just going to take a trip outside and see this joker over here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is actually my favorite character in the movie, I think. And he only has, like, one set of lines, and it's this beautiful underwear soliloquy here. It looks like uh, he belongs in the movie Varsity Blues. <laughs> <laughs> it, honestly, it, he looks like he kind of belongs in a porno. That too. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Or like a like a third-rate character in one of the American Pie movies. He, this guy's the Shermanator's older brother. Oh. Just his eyes. Look at his eyes. Yeah, and that, that is not a picture taken out of context either. That's how he looks for the whole movie. I hope oh. the people watching this are actually reading this story, because... It's a gold mine. It's pretty riveting. <laughs> you gotta be Just kidding! Like, Underwear! I get the picture! That's life. This is a very um, spacious alley, or whatever it is. Yeah, it is. This looks like the alley you play beer pong in. Or the mines of Moria with that, that skeleton. Yeah, we, we're we digging too deep and too greedily. That's the skeleton of Danny's twin brother. Or Danny's twin brother. <laughs> Did he eat him? Uh, clearly... Well, everything but the bones. All I got left are my bones. Ah, uh, yeah, great catch. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty good at this football game. Although, even when I hit it perfectly, I can't seem to throw a spiral. Yeah, I was, I was, asking, I was wondering, how does it control? I mean, is it, it's, a, it's a point and click, basically, right? Yeah, yeah, the controls... I mean, it's good. Very tight. <laughs> there's there's some more, uh, more control... Well, I shouldn't say control issues. There's more mini games than which we have to control in kind of a, a unique way, but we'll see those as the the let's play goes on. Ha <laughs> ha. We're having a pretty good pretty good game of catch here, and then Mark shows up. This is one of the weirder scenes in the movie because Mark like legitimately maliciously attacks that other guy. Oh right, the garbage can sequence. Yeah, he like just like punches him in the stomach with the football. I actually think Denny makes a comment on that in his diary tomorrow. Yeah, like... Oh. <laughs> I really blood. like the... Yeah. Blood? Yeah. <laughs> so we go through this little little piece of story right here, and actually I, I can see a spoon on that skeleton, so that would be our last spoon. But you fail to grab it? No, no, no. I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, good. This... this, this... Yeah, Skeletor spoon. This is a 100% completion, man. The first time I've ever let's played a game 100%, and it's gonna be the room, the game. That's impressive. Yeah. So pick up this spoon game. here. Oh wow! 
Sinister. Sinister spoon. Now we've got all all ten spoons, which actually unlocks a, a special ending for us. Uh, I can't can wait. I cannot wait. It's a, this game takes a little bit of a, a left turn as you get closer to the end. Really? Yeah, like like really really. Take a shower. First, I'm gonna go check out Danny though. See if anything's up. I still have to find those other things that I need to unsee. Oh, that, not again! That, uh, that is one of them. I've already seen that. But still. I think Danny might have irritable bowel syndrome, man. That shit. That shit's nasty. It's like as soon as he gets home, he has to take a dump every day. And also jerk his his wang. Well, I mean that kind of goes with the territory, doesn't it? <laughs> of course, that's what I do every time. Uh, the room, the game. The drinking game. Take a shot every time Johnny showers. Go to the <laughs> hospital. Take a shot every time he walks. Take a shot every time he laughs. Take a shot every time you want to rip off Claudette's face. <laughs> <laughs> and I, smear I, it I, I wish you could do that. <laughs> I would. I love the face, face off too. Nicholas Cage, John Travolta, Claudette, <laughs> Tommy Wiseau directing it. Right? <laughs> that'd be that'd be an instant classic, man. Too close for missiles. Switching <laughs> to guns. <laughs> yeah. So this is yeah when Johnny's like, normally in the movie he's like, I'll show them, I'll record everything. But here he's like, it's a good thing I'm already recording everything. <laughs> that's that's what I get for being on top of my game. Who's this uh, square? This is Peter. He's a uh, Johnny's psychologist friend, who uh, is in the movie for like two scenes, and then they replace the actor with somebody else. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a, this kind of protracted uh, dialogue sequence here, and Mark joins it a little bit later. But basically, Johnny just bitches and moans, and Peter's like, "You're sure this is Lisa, right? You're not talking about your other future wife." Uh, and please note how Johnny says, uh, Peter, you're a psychologist, help me. And then in about two minutes, he's like, Peter, stop playing psychologist. <laughs> Can't make up his damn mind. Yeah, this is actually, this is another great scene in the movie. This oh, scene. you know what they say, love is blind. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite. That's it's one of my favorite. I think, I think I prefer, if a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place to live. That's, that's too, that's too hopeful. <laughs> And that's also not my Tommy Wiseau impression. That's my Werner Herzog impression. Yeah, I, I could tell. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I like how Mark just, like, hints at that he's fucking Lisa, but doesn't tell us explicitly. I got this girl. It's kind of awkward. She's, like, really smoking hot in bed. She's got some kind of jelly rolls on her back and front. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit of a turkey neck. Oh, really? Who is she? I can't tell you that. It's, it's confidential, man. It's... Mark also has this conversation, or this uh, line that comes up in a little bit, where he talks about how much money he makes, and everyone's like, Mark, shut the fuck up. Johnny's in trouble. <laughs> he should give Johnny some of his money. Johnny's obviously rich, man. You see, he's got $6 million in his bank account. Yeah, but well, what's, what's the point of having money if you don't use it? Come on. <laughs> uh, I could buy as many dresses as I want. And flowers. I... I... Oh, I thought you meant dresses for you. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> uh, this they're talking. Uh, they're having a long conversation here about Beta Breakers, a San Francisco foot race. How is this relevant? Uh, it's not, but this is in the movie as well. <laughs> yeah, the barbecue chicken was really delicious, Rice. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> it's almost like Tommy Wiseau was like, "We need another half." of a minute into this movie. Just write up some dialogue about what I'm doing this weekend. Oh my god. Yeah, and then this is the story of how Johnny and Lisa met. <laughs> this is great in the movie, because he talks about this check that he couldn't cash, and then Mark's like, why couldn't you cash the check? And he's like, um, it was an out-of-state bank. I swear it wasn't, like, drug money. And then the, the interesting part of Johnny's first date with Lisa is that she paid. Very and, interesting. And they're still together. She's a keeper. Yeah, totally. She's super loyal. <laughs> I had a little bit of a control issue there. I'm not going to hold it against the game. Couldn't get around that chair. 
Okay, so now we've got another interactive part, finally. We're gonna make some sandwiches for the group. Hey, Ryan, I've got a joke for you. Okay. Uh, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Damn it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a, a couple sandwiches here. First, you gotta take the bread, put it on the cutting board. Then you That's take hard. some lettuce, and you slice that lettuce up with a knife. Gonna make a nice, nice, delicious sandwich here. Uh, hey, 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 you didn't wash the lettuce. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna wash the lettuce. Wait till you see what other sandwiches I make, man. <laughs> you won't be as concerned. So get some, some meat and some cheese out of the fridge. That, that's literally all that's in the fridge is meat and cheese. Yeah. That, that, is... that refrigerator is sucking up all that energy just to keep, <laughs> keep your cheese slices. Looks like some nice provolone there. Oh, I'm pretty hungry for a sandwich right now. I could go for one. That's that looks like some ham, maybe. Yeah. Oh, but the the sandwich is too too big, so I'm gonna make this a vegetarian sandwich, and just put some more bread on it. This can be for uh, for Mark. I know he's really conscious about his health. Sandwich made. That um, that looks great. Now I gotta make one more sandwich. This one's for Peter, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't come back later in the movie. Check around the kitchen, see if I can find some delicious stuff to put on his... Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so first, to start with the bread, obviously. I mean, that's the foundation of any good sandwich. This uh, whole sandwich making operation is like pretty uh, pretty inefficient. You gotta you cut it over there, yeah. and then you bring it over <laughs> onto the plate. It's true, yes. I should okay, put... is this guy not gonna see this blue, like... Detergent comet liquid. I don't even know what that uh, is. I'm not even sure what it is now. I think it's like dish, <laughs> dish soap, peanut butter, and, and jelly. Oh. So that's, that, uh, that's that's my favorite type of sandwich. Blue, purple, and brown. I tried to put the knife on it, but it wouldn't let me. That's America. <laughs> Maybe Claudette will eat that sandwich. Probably. Yeah. So they left. They, Johnny, go make us some sandwiches. We're going to go to, down to the racetrack, sweetheart. That's pretty inconsiderate. It was incredibly inconsiderate. <laughs> All right. And that's that's the end of the marathon day that we just had. Uh, I want to go back to the kitchen because I've been playing a little bit of The Sims, and I feel like I should throw these sandwiches in the trash can. Otherwise, my house is going to get dirty. Oh, man. Now I want to play The Sims. It's been ages. Um, I don't think it's as good as you remember it. I think it might be better. <laughs> yeah, it's aged like a fine wine. Like most of those like early 3D PC games. Man, I've got all these ideas for different ways that I could kill the Sims now. That's... So, this is the uh, one of the landmark scenes in the movie. We're going to go pick up our tuxedo, finally. And then we're going to engage in a little bit of our favorite sport. Uh, no sex? Uh, oh, no, sorry, second favorite sport, then. And I think we have some new recordings as well. Let's let's check it out. I hope so, anyway. Oh, no, just the, the Pete's conversation again. Johnny really likes torturing himself, just hearing this awful conversation over and over. But I don't, so I'm going to click through it as fast as I can. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, man, you could you could definitely feel that mouth. Oh. And clearly I was, she... I was talking about Johnny, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks like someone hit him in the face with a shovel when he was a kid. And then drove over it with a tractor. <laughs> that had Rosie O'Donnell driving it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, Johnny's, like, kind of, sort of, accidentally knocked M uh, Mike over, because it looked intentional. I wonder, if, I'd like to see a room, too, where we find out why Mark hates Mike. And where Danny commits suicide? Uh, yeah. He's kind or of already, gets murdered. He's kind of already like, committing suicide by living this life of his. I mean, it's gonna happen sooner or later. Let's so go to Perky's and pick up our tuxedo. Do you think Perky's is a reference to Lisa's boobs? Yes. <laughs> Put our tuxedo right. on. Obviously. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Looking sharp. Snazzy looking fellow. Yeah. Now we're just going to go home and uh, engage in some football, I imagine. What guy is actually going to walk into that store? Like, the tuxedos are in the very back corner and everything else is 
pink dresses. Wouldn't be the first time I've been uh, been in a place called Perky's. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> yeah, so the, the woman from Out of Time Coffee calls us and asks if we want some cheesecake. I would. She's got a pretty good business model going. She sold a, a billion cheesecakes. And calls her customers uh, one at a time. Well, Johnny is her favorite customer. Oh, okay. Customer of the month. Customer of the year. Oh, of the year. Sorry, my mistake. Oh, Mark. <laughs> yeah, so Mark shaved. That's the the landmark that just happened right there. Yeah, we all like it. Let's have a gay orgy. All right. That would actually be a welcome left turn in the room. If the movie just turned into a gay porno like 80 minutes in. Yeah, <laughs> because... I mean, I'm so used to seeing Johnny's butt while he had sex with Lisa anyway, so... Yeah, exactly. Much change. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is Peter's last scene, his magnum opus, and it's entirely him being a stick in the mud. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, oh. <laughs> ironically, I think Peter is the only actor I've seen in this movie that was later in something else. He was in one of those Old Spice commercials with Terry Crews, like the, the like black guy who had lightning bolts shooting out of his eyes and stuff. What you mean, the Old Spice guy? Yeah, but not the the man your man could smell like, not that guy. Oh, oh. This is the commercials that were directed by Tim and Eric from the Tim and Eric Awesome Show. Oh, I see. Yeah, and he played like lame white guy that got punched in the face. He's I really, would watch that. He's come a long way. I hear he's in uh, Transformers 3. Yeah, he plays um, Shia LaBeouf's character. <laughs> it's a, it's actually an improvement for, yeah. for the series. He's Shia LaBeouf's uh, stand-in. I really thought Peter was going to fall off the cliff here, and that would kind of explain why he doesn't show up later in, later in the, the movie, but, you know, he just kind of pusses out. So now that we've played football in our tuxedos, we have to go take a shower because we all smell bad. But no, not take a shower together. Uh, ah, that's sick a darn shame. Uh, why? There's just like a centipede or something going on here. Yeah, the, the human centipede. <laughs> cheep, 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 cheep. I wish you played that sound effect when uh, Denny and Mark did that, because uh, they've are they got good cheeps going on as well. <laughs> so I think... I should be able to see something that I'd like to unsee here, but I can't quite remember if it's now or if it's going to be in the next video. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Let's go check out Mark's Mark's palace. Yeah, this is it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> he's he's replaced the picture above his bed with his shaved beard. Do you think that's the real hair or just a picture of it? <laughs> uh, that's probably the real hair, man. That's to scale. I mean, that's yeah, that's the way you should do it. So I think uh, go back to Johnny's house, and that will probably be the end of today. Excellent. It was a good day. It was a good Saturday. That was a good Saturday. Well, at least he's in bed again. He's going to take a shower, but instead let's just go to bed. All right, see you guys next time. Peace out, homies. Oh, those eyes.